Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Wednesday, May 25th of 2022. Happy Wine Day today. Uh, we're talking today about the world's most expensive beer. Of course, five reasons to drink red wine, if you needed any. And Pantera is Bach. The podcast brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSNZero.com today. Well, the most expensive beer, would you pay $1,100 for a barrel of beer? Honestly, I bet a lot of people would, but most breweries wouldn't, as it means that they have to mark it up to an impossible price or not make much of a profit off it. And it seems like Urban Architect in Cincinnati is choosing not to make much of a profit as they're selling the beer for $30 for a four pack, which seems pricey, I'm sure. But when you consider that uh, each batch has 1,000 pounds of freeze-dried blueberries and blackberries, berries and that means it takes up to about 11 pounds of fresh berries for each freeze-dried pound. Urban Artifact didn't look to make the world's priciest beer. What they did is set out to make the fruitiest beer with astronaut food and it sure sounds like they did. Check out more about the 15% ABV beer and let me know, would you pay this much for it? The uh, link is of course in the show notes. And five reasons for red wine because it's National Wine Day. So here are five reasons to drink some red wine if you need it anymore. Uh, one, it's said to be good for your heart by preventing any clotting and keeping your blood vessels nice and supple. Two, it reduces your risk of certain types of cancer. Three, it can help with your digestion. Four, fighting off certain bad bacteria in your gut. And five, said to help you stay slim. Oh, and don't forget the sixth reason, it's tasty. Oh, and it's worth saying that too much of a good thing can undo some of the good as well. Do you plan to celebrate Wine Day and will you be choosing red, white, rosé, something bubbly? Let me know and read more about those five reasons at the link that is in the show notes. And Pantera is Bach. Pantera has joined forces with Texas Ale Project to release Becoming Bach, an easy drinking amber lager for this summer and for the fall. It'll be available on a limited basis. The good news is you can expect more in the series as Electric Blonde Ale is slated to come out later this year. It's brewed with a bunch of habanero peppers to give it a little bit of a punch there. The collab beers will be in retail and on tap in the DFW or Dallas-Fort Worth area and online, but only while supplies last. Link for that is, of course, in the show notes as well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't drink and drive. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. And I'll see you again tomorrow.